Hello, I'm David from Winning Solutions. I hope you're having a great day and thank you for viewing our web page and templates. At Winning Solutions, we have a huge array of database templates to choose from for almost any business need you have. And the, all our databases can and are meant to be customized down to the finest detail to meet your company's specific needs. Shrink-wrapped software generally doesn't allow that. You have to use it as is with no customizations. With Winning Solutions, the licensing is very generous. The app can be used by as many people on as many computers as you want, and applications can be customized to your heart's content down to the finest detail by you or anyone else with a knowledge of Microsoft Access. We hope this video will be all the help you need. Are you trying to create an Access database but find that it's too much work? Or you could be doing something more productive with your time. WSI can do all the hard work for you. Just contact us via the information below this video. We will work with you to determine how much time and money will be needed to build your new database. If you'd prefer to have your new database built with .NET, Microsoft SQL Server so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser, we could do that too. So let's take a look at the inventory tracking database template. Again, this is a template meant to be customized, expanded on. Uh, this could be changed, features added, you know, any type of thing you need can, can be added to this because the paid version also it gives you basically the ability to customize this any way you want. If you know someone who knows Access, or you can call us for a quote and, and we'd be happy to, uh, to help. So let's take a look at the template. Now, like most templates, I'm going to start with maintain lists because uh, anything that's uh, a, in a combo box, a static combo box, meaning they're basically lookup tables, you're going to see the same things in there every time. That's going to be in these in this maintain lists menu. Now there are categories of items. Oh, electronics. Very diverse uh, warehouse. Anyway, uh, location, we can have main location, we can have two warehouses, for example, transaction types, uh, we can have in here as well. So, you know, anything we have, anything that populates those drop down boxes. And of course, we can add more lists. Say, maybe you want to have a list for, I don't know, payment types, right? That Those can be added in the paid version as well. well I'm going to go ahead and save and close this. Uh, let's look at employees next. And there, well, okay, we put one employee. Let's add another couple of employees here. Something tells me he didn't have an email. But I digress. We're not going to go uh, really into this. Uh, we could do save and new, in which case that would bring up uh, you know, the ability to add another employee, but I'm just going to close this and leave it at that. Okay, so now we have our two employees in here. Let's go ahead and close this. Let's go to the suppliers. So we can enter information for suppliers. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, of course, uh, we can search. Now, the, the, the search... Uh, this is common through many of our applications, this type of interface. We can search by any field and match as you type is selected. So you see it's actually, oh, I'd have to reset it. But you can see as soon as I type in a letter, it starts searching automatically. Uh, of course, we could turn this off. Oh, because I have an exact match. All right, if we do partial match. Oh, this is suppliers. Okay, right. Uh, so yeah, let's let, let's go to partial match. We'll look only for company or last name, first name or last name. Okay, so you get the idea. We can use it to search. Of course, we can double click, and that'll bring up the details if we need to ever change them. Okay, and now let's go back to inventory. And, of course, there's not much in here. Let's add some inventory items. And, of course, we can enter a category here. We can add a location and add one of, our, one of the suppliers that we... Uh, that's going to come from our book supplier. 
And I'll just leave the rest of this and we'll go ahead, save a new, let's add another one. All right, uh, this might be a different category and location, different location, uh, supplier. Now we have the supplier names in here. If you wanted the, uh, the, the name of the people, if you wanted the names of suppliers, we could display the company instead of the name here too. So that's, that's a customization option here. And uh, so I'll go ahead and close that. And now they appear in our search. And of course we can change all, all this information here as well. Again, matches your type, exact or partial. Um, we'll it'll search by anything that is checked off here. So, right, so I, I only searching by the item. If I did the same thing, searching for manufacturer, it's not gonna come up with anything, obviously. Okay, finally we have reports. And of course, there's all sorts of canned reports that we have in here. These are not really fancy. They're meant to be enhanced. Maybe, you know, you want some extra information on there. You want your company logo, that type of thing. And of course, more reports can be added. We have all the, all the basic canned reports here, but um, of course, you know, the, the, these can be certainly fancied up to any degree you want. So that covers the access inventory tracking database template from Winning Solutions. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was all the help you needed for your access database. If you are struggling to create an access database that does what you need it to do and just want someone to make that happen for you, that is the business we are in. Our contact information is below the video. You can reach out to us and we will work with you to determine how long it will take and how much it will cost to get your database up and going. If the time and cost are acceptable to you, WSI will get to work and make your database vision a reality. Perhaps Microsoft.net or MS SQL Server would be the better choices for your new database, so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser. WSI will help you make this determination if you like. Again, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day.